Hello and welcome to the deconstruction of my open world level called City of Zamakra. City of Zamakra is a practice level to polish and enhance my level design skill set. The plan was to make an appealing, thoughtfully constructed level which can afford players from different playstyles while also keeping track of 3D world design principles. For instance, framing. Framing is a concept that draws from players' attention to a specific target or point. The aim is to achieve this focus-inducing technique as naturally as possible. Although this term is widely popular in architecture, we can look at a few examples from games. Here in Assassin's Creed Origins, the giant statues either side of the player break the player's focus to the doorway which is at the center of the screen. Similarly, in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, the enemy's placement directs us to the center of the screen, presumably in the spell cave. The second idea is the approach. This might also be taken from another industry. However, we see this appear in games now more than ever. Also, a well-done approach feels more natural and allows for more modularity. Here is an example demonstrated by an article deconstructing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. They showcase an interesting example where players have to reach the same spot but have to go around another area, potentially another point of interest. The objective can be seen asking attention from the players from behind another area. So keeping, the, uh, keeping, these, so keeping these ideologies in mind, I decided to get to pen and paper and work on some ideas. Here's a list of various ideas that explore uh, during like thinking about different play styles, different themes and different settings. In the end, I decided to go with a stealth based level uh, followed by infiltrating a tower. This probably came from younger days when I used to play a ton of Assassin's Creed, giving players no powers or weapons and uh, conflicted by guards was vital to drill the stealth experience. As the players have nothing more than their evading skills. Uh, now let us look at the level design in both 2D and 3D and talk through it. So this is a top-down 2D level layout of uh, City of Zamakra. Uh, all the yellow land, all the yellow areas are the land as seen in uh, the legend. The player starts off here in the docks section of the. Uh, of the city where it's surrounded by water from all of the sides uh, and the level has uh, uh, the red colors are enemies and the arrows uh, depict that they are going to be patrolling enemies and they're going to move left to right in this scenario and these ones are going to move up and down players have to find their way to infiltrate the tower which is just at the main road uh, followed by the framing of the bridges uh, since it's a city, there are a lot of houses that accompany the roads. Um, so players without any weapons or powers have to find their way around and infiltrate this tower without getting attracted by guards. So let us go for a live talk through and a playthrough with this level. So here's a top down screenshot of the city of Zamakra level, followed by the 2D level layout illustrated on the top left. We can see uh, in the top left the player would begin its journey here, and the level will have a lot of enemies, especially near the main gate patrolling outwards, um, near the fountain, going around the secondary road, and up and down the main street. These guards are patrolling and will chase the player as soon as it detects it. Uh, the guards have a higher speed, so it is impossible for the player, I mean it's not impossible, but it's hard for the player to evade them. So the main strategy is to avoid uh, contact with these. Um, as And the other things were... So now we're going to look at the level itself in 3D. Uh, on the top left, I, I have... Uh, kept the 2D level layout from the top down perspective and as you can see the player starts off at the docks uh, there are some uh, AI uh, walking around as well as the guards which is on the far end of the screen uh, the 
the other AI NPCs don't do anything, whereas the gods would chase the player and uh, kind of get them busted. Um, firstly, I'm going to try and see what happens when I go in the water. Yeah, so the level resets. So the really, so the only really way for the players to go out to infiltrate the tower is uh, go back to the port. Uh, and just to demonstrate for purposes, I'm going to go uh, run in front of an AI and see what they do. Yes, uh, so we get busted, so we really can't do anything. I'm going to try and uh, so as you can see on the top, uh, there are some AI right at the gate. So you can see the tower really in the middle of the screen, kind of for, uh, having the framing uh, coming in. But the approach, uh, which is key here, uh, although the, there is a main gate in the center, the approach is not the direct, the direct way is not the approach. Uh, however, I'm going to go ahead and try to sneak past my way to the guards, which is literally patrolling the gate. And I'm going to wait for it and I'm going to run. So as soon as the guard spots me, they are faster than me. So I get busted. So it's very hard for me to go through the center of uh, the city hall. Uh, the, the guard sensitivity makes it hard for me to showcase how the framing of the, the bridge is. But I'm still going to try to do my good, good job at it. Before I get busted by a ton of these. Uh, so yeah, you can see the framing working. Um, I'm gonna make a run, and I'm gonna show you how the how I intended for the players to run through it. Uh, so as you can see, uh, players can't go uh, to to the main gate, but uh, players can't go to the main gate. But going to the right doesn't really help either because there's nothing else on the right. However. Uh, there's a left you can see some sort of a desert or something a tree which is abandoned like a bungalow which is abandoned if i try to go around it uh, it's fence and i cannot go past it so so the only way for the player again is uh, this doorway which uh, i felt at time was like pretty small for the players to notice but uh, i think it translated pretty well since there was n literally no other way and as soon as they enter here, they are past the fence. Uh, they can see the, they can still see the tower, which is great. Helps with the framing and keeping the objective in screen. Um, again, the only way for the players here is to climb up. Um, and here, a little technical challenge, but just using the uh, physics physics system and making a four stairs to climb up. And as I mentioned in the 2 reconstruction, I have made a framing with uh, uh, on the top of the bungalow here as well, with the top, like the shade of uh, the cotton cloth uh, acting as a framing agent, whereas all the smaller buildings helping players guide the guide their attention to the tower. Um, I'm gonna stay silent and help you listen to the city bells ringing. yeah so after this uh, players have they can after this there are a ton of options to go about they can go uh, to the left and around uh, there's a guard near the fountain kind of circling as i mentioned uh, they can go past this uh, uh, past this wall like above the wall and go around the city really it's up to the player how oh, I intended is uh, trying to stealth past my way, so trying to wait for the cover after the guards leave and then drop down slowly and go around the building since the fountain is with an open area and is kind of covered by the guard here. And then I'll go past it and again get to the side of the level where there's another pool framing situation happening. Uh, and I can see the 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 tower from here, but I'm gonna run for it. And there is God that is literally spotting it, so it's gonna be hard for me to kind of reach it. But as just to demonstrate it, I'm gonna try to evade. Okay. 
so flexibility um and for the last part of the video i'm gonna add in a time lapse of me constructing this whole um, level in unity bit by bit uh, you can see how everything kind of got together uh, in terms of the pieces the height variations and what what kind of buildings i chose and why so yeah thank you very much for watching